Hello, welcome back to ESP.NET MVC tutorial. I am Ashish. So this is part 13 of this video series. Please watch part 11 and part 12 of this video series in order to insert and validate your data. Okay, so now in this tutorial, I am going to insert data into multiple tables. Okay, so here you can see I have created two table, employee table and site table. And now my target is, is to insert data into these two table okay so first I will insert data into the employee table and will get the latest employee ID that is 1005 and I will insert that ID into the site table okay and what I need uh, site name okay so I will just add a control uh, for this okay so now let's go to the controller here you can see I have created the overloaded method of index okay so in the previous video uh, I have just created this form let's have the view of it okay so this is my drop down which is uh, which is uh, dynamically pointed okay so you can see the index method here I have pointed this drop down okay so uh, as you see uh, when I submit the form then it's going to call this index method means this overloaded method because it's going to get the uh, data as a parameter okay and it's now going to return this view so definitely my uh, my view back uh, view back dot data it's going to be null so here uh, I need to rebind this data so I will just copy this code and paste it here as it is okay now save it okay now go to your view and just uh, copy this line and just paste it okay so I'm going to add the uh, one more text box to save my s s let's uh, name it site name okay so just save it and just go to your model and add one more extra property and let's give it okay so I have just given the site name now save it and run this application and let's see what's going to happen here you go okay so this is my uh, drop down and my site name here I will just insert the site name here okay now let's go to the controller and I will do the similar things uh, which I have did uh, which I just which I have done in my previous videos okay so I, I will just create one uh, the object of this class go to the model and okay so employee here so I will just create the employee or just let's just stop this application and create employee EMP equals new employee okay so I have created the employee and now I will just insert all data like address and I will receive it from model so I will just add this employee address model dot address okay and now just imp employee dot name equals model dot name okay and now employee dot what next department ID equals model dot department ID okay so now I will just save it so I have cre I, I have already created the DB context so just DB dot employees oh sorry dot add and I'm going to add this employee 
okay and the last thing is that db dot save changes and after saving this form I will just receive the latest employee ID so let's see int emp ID equals you can say latest employee ID equals uh, your employee dot employee ID okay so here you will get your employee ID and now I am just going to insert this data into site table okay so site equals new site okay now same thing site dot site name this don't insert it and site dot site name I will receive the site name from the model dot site name okay from the parameter I will just get it okay so now here what I need the site dot employee ID okay so I will just uh, paste here okay so latest employee ID equals site dot employee ID okay so the last thing is that I will just add DB dot sites dot add okay and I will just pass site okay and the last thing is that DB dot save changes and uh, just control save okay now let's run this application and let's see what's gonna happen here so here you go okay and now go to the controller and put a breakpoint here okay and I'm just going to submit this form so let's see I have uh, just name it Arnold okay address may be New York okay and uh, site name is let's see www techno tips dot com let's see and just submit this form you can see your data into this model and just expand it New York department ID is 2 name is Arnold and uh, site name is techno tips okay let's uh, function f10 okay so we will go now uh, you have just received your address uh, model name Arnold and department ID and just continue it and let's check what is the latest ID 1006 okay now in the next step I have just saved this uh, data into the site table okay now let's uh, check techno tips and latest ID and now let's continue okay and uh, just press 10 or uh, continue it okay now go to the database and let's check execute this okay so here you got your employee ID and your site name okay and if you check in employee table then you will just get this okay so 1006 Arnold department ID is 2 and the New York okay so simultaneously uh, not simultaneously I have just inserted the um, 
data into the multiple table okay so in this way you can insert your data into the multiple table okay so definitely you will find it quite very quite simple okay so I am done here okay so thank you very much for watching my tutorial uh, if you really like then give us a thumbs up and please subscribe my channel okay youtube.com slash user slash apkanigam okay and you can like our page uh, facebook.com slash techno tips tutorial okay okay then thank you very much and if you have any doubt please please uh, comment and uh, i'm going to solve your all problems okay bye bye thank you have a great day